Hey everyone, my name is Sean Arnold and welcome to UEO Legacy of the Duelist Online Ranked episode number 104. Today I'm going to be playing a Galaxy Eyes deck as requested by subscriber MikeyMJS. He very kindly uh, said that he liked my videos and liked my work and asked if I had any tips or advice for playing Galaxy Eyes. And so hopefully this is a, going to be a good video to show off some of their gameplay and what they can and can't do. Galaxy Eyes are an archetype which mostly focus around building monsters on the field that can go into rank 8 summons but I've decided to mix them up a bit with a couple of other variants in order to stun my opponent. They're a very very powerful deck which can go into very powerful monsters very very easily however they don't generate a lot of advantage compared to some of the top tier decks in today's day and age. For example decks like Burning Abyss um, have ways of creating advantage not just on the field by being big, uh, bringing out big monsters but also in their graveyard um, making their cost practically free. Uh, what I'm going to do here right now though is um, I've used uh, some of my monsters effects and I'm going to go into a rank 8 summon on my first turn to bring out Hope Harbinger uh, Titanic Galaxy Dragon or whatever this look card's long anime name is. Um, it's a really really good card, if I can bring this card out on the first turn I feel like I'm really really comfortable because it has a great stun effect. Its effect is that during either player's turn if a spell card or an effect is activated while on the field I can negate the effect and attach that card to my monster as a XE material. It's a great first turn play and when backed up with cards like Solemn Strike it almost makes me feel very very comfortable in being able to keep my big monster out on the field. And that's kind of the key with this deck I think. I think it's very important to have these effects which can activate in either player's turn and kind of disrupt your opponent's plays in order to keep your plays safe because if you lose your monsters then you're not going to really have a good option at um, generating advantage or making a comeback because you've lost all your, your resources. Um, Hell GZ Bitch has decided to play Toons today and he's started to play one of their key cards Toon Kingdom and so I'm going to respond with Hope Harbinger's effect. I'm going to take Toon Kingdom because Toon Kingdom is a very annoying card to play against because it protects all of their monsters from being destroyed by banishing cards from my opponent's deck which can be very frustrating to deal with. So um, now we place Toon Table of Contents again. That's going to allow him to search out another Toon Kingdom. Always going to go for another Toon Table and then probably search a Toon Kingdom after that. Modern day tunes are really fun to do. I should take some time to revisit them. Um, I've lost to a few Toon decks. I, I've got to say, I've definitely lost to a few Toon decks. Especially when I was doing my Lore series and I was playing decks like Violence, which aren't very good. But um, um, now they, the new Toon Kingdom card is very, very annoying to deal with. And they've got some other effects too, which are actually quite strong. So Toon Kingdom is activated again. I'm going to have to work my way of de dealing with that. And my opponent has banished three cards from the top of his deck face down. And now he brings out Toon Mermaid. Toon Mermaid is actually one of the best Toon Monsters out there. It's a free special summon. I don't know if you need Toon Mermaid on the, well, uh, the field to special summon it. But um, it doesn't have any summon sickness and can be really used quite quickly as making a rank 4 play. Fortunately I have Strike on the field so we're going to get rid of that monster. And hopefully my opponent has no other options right now to kind of bring anything else out in the field. But um and hopefully we can continue to kind of control the board and then go into a bigger play. This is kind of what you want from a Galaxy Ice deck in my opinion. You want to set up your board ASAP, deal with any threats that your opponent has in their turn and then in your turn go into a play which is going to make things really beneficial for you. So now in my turn I'm going to bring out Galaxy Soldier who its effect allows me to discard a light monster from my hand to my graveyard and then when it is special summoned I get to add another galaxy monster from my deck to my hand and in this situation I think the best monster to go for is gonna be is gonna be mm, could be galaxy wizard galaxy wizard is, is a fine option to go for I could have also I don't know if I have a photon dragon in my graveyard I could have also gone for a knight and order to special summon another level 8 but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our rank 5 play and we're gonna bring out cyber dragon nova Cyber Dragon Nova on the field along with Hope Harbinger pretty much seals the game in my opinion. Uh, you have a monster, uh, well when Cyber Dragon Infinity comes out that is, you have a monster which can negate any effect once per turn and you have Hope Harbinger which can negate any spell card uh, once per turn. It's really really strong to work these two together and while this is not a pure Galaxy Eyes deck, um, I think this is really just the best way to run them because they're so good at summoning out these monsters so easily. Um, just really really great for a rank 5 or a rank 8 engine. Before I go into uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, because I want to kill my opponent this turn, 
I am going to detach one Cyber uh, Galaxy Soldier and bring out Cyber Dragon, bring that back to the field. And now I have enough to really attack my opponent. I don't even need to go into Infinity if you ask me personally. And uh, yeah, I, I probably I'm not even going to worry about it too much. We we'll just we can just go to battle phase and we can just end this game now. So uh, this should be game here, being able to attack my opponent directly uh, with all three monsters. I'm pretty sure they haven't got any hand traps, which is going to stop me. Uh, normally I don't like to delay. A, uh, a win because a lot of people like to rage quit if they think they're gonna win and you're taking too long so I try to avoid that now but um, yeah no this is game uh, pretty much so we are going to go from this game into another game in just a second here and uh, we're gonna see how this deck works a little bit more against none other than the guy who requested the duel Mikey MGS so Mikey is gonna have an opportunity to show me what his deck looks like and then um, yeah we'll, we'll see how this works in a mirror match now um i can't remember who won the coin toss but in my opinion you always always want to go first with this deck because you want to get your stun monsters out asap with little disruption so um i don't know who won the coin test, test there but um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do something i normally shouldn't do because i really want to see what mikey can do and i'm gonna do play galaxy wizard tribute it a galaxy soldier to my deck and now I could go into my rank 5 play with a Galaxy Soldier and, uh, and bring it out to the field. But I'm going to just end my turn there and I'm going to see what Mikey can do on his turn. Because I want to learn about his plays and uh, the way he likes to run this deck. So Mikey plays that Galaxy Wizard, just like I did in my turn. Tributes, oh, levels it up to level 8. And then let's see what he does next. Is he going to be able to find a way to make a rank 8 play? He looks like he will. He plays Galaxy Expedition. Galaxy Expedition brings that Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon. Now, uh, the only problem I actually have with this play so far is he hasn't really taken in any consideration for my back row card. Um, you, know, you guys know what my back row card is, it's a Solemn Strike. And for him to bring out his monster like this, he spent two cards, three cards, to bring out this monster. And if for it to get hit by Solemn would be really, really bad for him. If luckily for Mikey, I think I was holding down the circle button, so I chose not to respond. And then he played Galaxy Cyclone. That was a really bad play in my opinion. You should have played Cyclone first, got rid of my back row, then summoned, and then you were once would be a little bit more protected. He has overlaid into 107, Galaxy Ice, Tachyon Dragon, who also I don't know necessarily was a very good play either, because Galaxy Ice, Tachyon Dragon is a nice monster, but um, you had the option to attack with Photon Dragon and, well not necessarily Wizard, it was that zero attack, but you had that ability to attack with Photon Dragon without overlaying, and now Galaxy Ice Dragon, which is a very nice card, has no way of protecting itself while being on the field by itself. So I'm going to punish Mikey for this play, and I'm going to kind of show him what, um, why you need to run stun in your deck, uh, one like this particularly. So we are going to first play Panzer Dragoon, and uh, we're going to bring that out to the field, a level 5 machine type monster, really easy for rank 5 plays, and then we are going to go into using Galaxy Soldier's effect and we're going to special summon that to the field, get rid of Knight and we're going to add another Galaxy Monster from my deck to my hand. I'm trying to consider what I could run in this situation. I'm going to go for Galaxy Wizard. It's um, kind of just the all round option. If you have nothing to combo into, go for Galaxy Wizard. It can get you more pieces as you draw into more cards. And now we're going to overlay into Cyber Dragon Nova. Cyber Dragon Nova is going to come out. 2100 attack, not too strong. Uh, but then we are going to be able to use um, use it as material to go into Cyber Dragon Infinity. Um, you can see in the gameplay here that I also have Gaia Charger or Thunder Charger, which can overlay on top of a level 5. I don't use it and I've actually taken it out of my deck. If anyone goes to see my deck build video, you'll see that I'm not actually running Dragon Charger, but I did have it in this duel here. I just don't necessarily think I need it too much. I think once I have Infinity out, I don't really... Um, by the time Infinity is used up its effect, and uh, just by the time I get to a situation which I would want to run Dragon uh, Thunder Charger, um, I should have won the game anyway. So uh, Infinity has stolen off uh, Tachyon, and now I'm going to attack my opponent with 2900 attack. So Mikey still can make a comeback, he can still make a play, but I have I have the ability to negate any one of his cards once per turn uh, during the next phase. So it's all about a question on can he bait out my effect and then bring out maybe a monster that can run over my monster. So we start with Galaxy Wizard. Galaxy Wizard is going to tribute itself. No, yep, yeah, tribute itself to add a card from his deck to his hand. 
and that's going to be the card which I'm going to negate because um, I don't want you doing any more searching. I don't want you finding out any combo pieces. So we're going to use Cyber Dragon Infinity. Shut that down right now. Let's get rid of uh, let's get rid of Soldier because we can revive it later with Galaxy Zero if we draw into it or if we search it out. And now let's see if Mikey can make any further plays here. He sets down one card on the field uh, in the back row and then he ends his turn. This is why stun is so effective. I have a monster on my field which is pretty big but it can protect itself. This is what you need to be doing for this deck here. Just checking my extra deck there what my options were. I remember that I couldn't overlay but I'm not going to do that. We're going to test attack directly with infinity. Another thing which I think is important for a deck like this is that you don't blow your load too quickly. I could make more monsters, I could special summon more stuff to my field, I could maybe go for a rank 4 play or I don't know, something like that but I don't want to do this too quickly because if I do lose my infinity I need to have an out to the uh, to the board that you set up. So now I've tributed my monster, I'm going to go for Galaxy Expedition and that way um, on my next turn if I need to I can summon Wizard, play Expedition and go into our rank 8 play and then hopefully take control of the board again if I lose control. So now over to Mikey's uh, turn there, he summons out Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon, a cute little dragon which allows you to summon one Galaxy Eyes monster from your hand or graveyard. I don't really think it's worth running this though, and once again, I think this is the only option my opponent has, I'm making a play there, so we're going to shut that down, negate it again, no good effects for you sir, and then um, yeah, Infinity is just going to control the board, and I'm going to assume that leaves you with the same cards you had before, and that means... You don't really have any outs to my plays. And if I am not mistaken, this is the last turn of the duel. And we are going, and this is a victory for me as Mikey will soon surrender. So Mikey, thank you very, very much for requesting this duel against me, dude. Uh, thank you very much for requesting this video. And um, if anyone wants to play against me, hit me up on PSN The Isles Play. And check out the build for this deck in the description. Thank you for watching and take care.